Welcome back everyone and after a very long time I'm finally back with another model airplane review and with a very exciting one uh, in my opinion at least. We're reviewing the KLM 777-300ER from Aviation 400. Um, I'm gonna tell you it is a very exciting model so without further ado I would say let's get started. The first aspect of course is the box and the box is nothing special it's the least exciting part about this model. It is a blue box with a clip art image of the airplane on the front. You have the Boeing and KLM titles as well. Uh, really nothing that special about this box. Um, yeah the back is even more boring than the front. So yeah I'm still gonna give it a 3 out of 5 because I think it does look quite decent. Moving on to the mold, that's where it gets really exciting and you know me, one of the most important parts is the nose. As you can see the nose looks quite good, it could be a little bit more pointy though. Uh, also you have that amazing 3D beacon light on this model as you can see. Uh, moving further back on the airplane you have the engines which look absolutely amazing. They're see-through and you can even see the little spiral on the engine which is amazing. Uh, the back, now the APU detail could be a little bit better. Uh, the two things that stick out at the back are a little bit too long, but other than that, looks pretty good. The antennas too, uh, everything very, very nice. The wings, um, yeah, it's just an amazing mold in my opinion with all the detail. As I said, nose could be improved a little bit as well as the APU detail. Other than that, it's almost perfect, so I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Then next up is the landing gear, and the landing gear is quite good on this model. As you can see, uh, the landing gear looks quite good. Uh, it rolls very nicely. The uh, main landing gear also tilts very nicely. Looking at the detail, the detail is quite good. It's not quite perfect, but it's very good. Uh, the color is silver though, which is not very accurate. It should be more of a little bit darker matte gray. Uh, front end landing gear as well looks very nice in terms of detail, but again, the color is a little bit off. I uh, like them quite a bit, landing gear looks very good, not quite perfect, so 4 out of 5 for the landing gear. Last but not least, we're taking a look at the quality, which also includes the printing on the airplane. Now it looks very very nice how the livery is done, the livery is basically perfect. The printings too are very nice, fine lines, a lot of detail on the engine, on the fuselage, um, just looks very nice. Then you have even your little antenna in the back underneath the fuselage. Uh, it actually is painted with little red stripes. This is just amazing attention to detail. Uh, on the other side of the airplane, again, you can see very nice detail. The only problem I have really is that the main landing gear doors are printed a little bit too thick, but that's nothing too bad. You see the engines have amazing detail. Everything just looks very, very nice. Uh, so yeah, this model in terms of quality, uh, build quality is amazing. Everything comes together beautifully. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have to give it a 10 out of 10. It's absolutely amazing. Now let's take a look at every single score once again to determine the final rating. So for the box, we had a 3 out of 5. Molt was a 9 out of 10. Landing gear, a 4 out of 5. Quality, an excellent 10 out of 10. Giving the model a total of 26 out of 30. And that means it gets a final rating of a very solid 8.5. Very, very nice job, Aviation 400. As promised, the leaderboard is back for this video. And it has an 8.5 like the United L1011 and some other models. But I have to say, the KLM 777, it's the best one out of them. So, position 6 for the moment. Very, very nice model. Absolutely amazing. So yeah, I don't know if I even should go ahead and tell you my opinion. I think it's pretty clear that I'm absolutely amazed by this model. Um, it is so good. Uh, it's Is it the best 777 out there in 1 to 400 scale? I don't know. The JC Wings one is also pretty good, but I'm going to do a video on all the 777 molds out there at the moment. Now what's really cool about Aviation 400, you get a free stand with it. Now it's only a plastic stand, nothing special, and yeah, doesn't look too good, but hey, it's free. And also you get a free pushback truck, which is absolutely amazing. I got the Cathay Pacific one, but anyway, it is very, very cool. So yeah, absolutely love this model. 
and I highly recommend the Aviation 400 brand in general, but especially the A350 and the 777-300ER, those two are absolutely amazing. So that was it from my side, uh, let me know down below in the comments, do you know the Aviation 400 brand, have you gotten a model of them yet, because they can be pretty rare at times, uh, they're not available at that many places. Anyway, personally I really love them, very happy that I got three models from them now, uh, all of them are absolutely amazing, so yeah, that was it for my site, thank you very very much for watching, see you next time, goodbye.